Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. In the last few episodes, we talked about how to create mass form using different approaches like extrusion, blend, sweep, and swept blend. Today in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a mass form using the revolve approach. So let's begin. I've started a new project and the first thing I want to do whenever I'm working with massing is to go into massing in sight and switch on the visibility of mass. Next, I'm going to create an in-place mass and call it revolve. Revolve approach is quite easy. You have an axis around which you would like your cross-section profile to revolve. And next you have a cross-section profile, for example, a rectangle like this. Now I want this rectangle and this little gap in between the axis, both of this to revolve around this axis. So the solid form that's going to be created is out of this uh, rectangle and the gap that you have between the axis is going to be a void. So I'm going to select this and press Ctrl and add to my selection my axis and go ahead into my massing tool and create form. If you have a look at this, you'll see that we have a nice beautiful donut kind of form where you have a rectangle which is a solid and the gap you had kept between the profile and your axis is going to be a gap. Let's try that in a different example. So let's go ahead and create a line. You can either create a reference line or a model line to create your axis. And then I am in this time not going to keep any kind of gap with my axis line. So I have a cross section profile and I have my axis and I'm going to select both of this and create form. So you see here that I have a beautiful sphere here. Now the interesting thing about revolve is that it doesn't always have to be a 360 degree revolve. So if I select my complete mass, I have an option of start angle and end angle. Let's say I'm going to start my revolve at 90 degrees. You'll see that it's kind of cut the 90 degree uh, of revolve from my mass and it's continued towards 360 degrees. I can also do it the other way around. So let's say I want to do it 180 degrees like this and switch off this at 270 degrees. So you can choose your start and end angle. It doesn't always have to be very accurate. It can also be this case. Let's start at 45 and at 240. Really depends on the kind of form that you want to generate. I'm going to put it back to 0 and 360. Let's go ahead and try a different example. I'm going to go back to my level 0. And let's say this time my axis is not straight, but it's diagonal. And now I'm going to create an elliptical cross-section profile and I have this elliptical profile selected, my axis selected and I'm going to go ahead and create form. So you see here that I have an interesting kind of form that's generated here. I'm going to finish this mass, I'm going to select this, I'm going to select my complete mass and let's say I'm going to start at 180 degrees. So I have a half profile here. Then I'm going to finish this up, go ahead, back to my massing inside. I'm going to convert one of my internal surface into walls. Let's switch off the show mass option to just see the wall. You'll see I have a beautiful wall form that's generated out of this mass. Let's switch on the show mass option again. I'm going to select my mass, edit in place. And this time I want to make changes to my uh, profile. So I'm going to select this, edit profile. And here I'm going to say, okay, I need a different profile inside of it. So I'm going to create a closed loop inside a closed loop. Whenever you do this, whenever you are in this pink sketch line mode, you always remember that whenever you create a closed loop inside a closed loop, you create the alternate of solid and void. So I have a solid uh, extrusion here and inside I have a void extrusion. So I'm going to finish that up and see what happened here. So I have a little hole created in my revolve. So the outer ellipse has created a solid and the inner ellipse has created a void. Now I have multiple surfaces that I could select. I'm going to finish this up and let's say I'm going to go ahead and create a wall inside of this. And I'm going to switch off my mask and you can see that I have an interesting structure that I've created here. I'm going to go back here and let's say I want to cover the roof with a curtain system of about 20 by 20. I'm going to create that. 
And I'm going to switch off my mask to just to see my building here. I have an interesting form here. Just the way we created a solid form using revolve approach, we can also create a void form. Let me show you an example. Let's go back to the floor plan view. And I'm going back to my massing inside in place mass. And I'm going to combine different approaches in this case. I'm going to create a rectangle using simple extrusion approach. So I'm going to select this particular uh, rectangle and simply create form. So this is the simplest approach of all, the extrusion approach. And then I'm going to take my top surface and increase the height. In this particular case, I would like to make a void form using the revolve approach. How do I do that? Let's say I want to make a cutout over here don't want to draw in my floor plan view so I'll have to set my work plane either to this face or I or I have to create a reference plane and set a work plane. Now in this case this is easy because I already have a face so if I would like to draw something I can just simply select here draw on face and it will automatically take the work plane towards that face. So this is my axis line here and let's say I want to create um, something interesting let's say an cross-section profile something like this so I have a cross-section profile I have my axis and this time I'm not going to create solid form but I'm going to go into this drop down and select void form so you'll see that it has made a void inside of my extruded mass here I can finish this mass Go back to my massing inside and let's say I want to create a wall out of this face and you'll see there is a cutout here. And there are additional surfaces which I can select. So for example, I go to massing inside and let's say I want to make 10 by 10 grid curtain system along this particular basis and create system. So you'll see that I have something interesting form that I've generated by combining extrusion and revolve approaches. So you can combine different approaches together when you want to create your mass form. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. The next episode we are going to talk about solar analysis on your building project. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.